Hi. Um, I got an email from Joyce Valencia asking me if I might share kind of something that I've been thinking about. If I was to sum it up in a word, I guess it's bubbles. Filter bubbles. Internet filter bubbles. You know, there's so much information coming at us so fast, it's hard to get a handle on. Some of the ways that we manage that information with my, uh, with my iPod Touch watches the stuff that I'm reading in my reader and then shows me more of that stuff. In my browser, and it, and it tells me which are the highest ranked stories based on my social graph. What you guys find interesting in the educational community online, that's what I end up reading about. This is awesome, freaking fantastic. Filters out the chaff so I can pay attention to the most important stuff. What worries me about the stuff that might be really important that isn't being brought to my attention because it's not yet caught the attention of my social networks. You know those those awesome blog posts that people link to on Twitter? I don't really want to be reading those posts. I want to be writing those posts. But what I'm worried about is, what if you've written one of those posts and it didn't go viral? How do we find the balance between the tension of having an absolute necessity to filter information and at the same time still wanting to pay attention to those things that may not come up on our radar if all we're doing is using those filters? Mind you, if we're not using one of those filters, we may lose a lot of time to chaff instead of getting some of those golden nuggets.